Day two of the Mustang Classic. Glenn Clark now with RIT coach Jake Kuhn after they fall 10-9 in overtime to Dickinson. Coach, uh, a game in which you guys led the entire way and, and just couldn't finish them off, I guess, at the end there. Yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, like we just discussed, this, you know, we, we were winning some draws late in the game, you know, second half in particular, and, uh, you know, lost uh, a crucial one in overtime. Okay. And, you know, that's part of the equation. Uh, there were certainly a lot of mistakes on our part, and I give them a lot of credit. They did a great job, um, you know, possessing the ball all day and, and played a nice disciplined game. And, uh, you know, we, we made too many mistakes today. And uh, they, they definitely were a little bit hungrier than us today and, and uh, came out with, some intensity and came out and got some ground balls and we were lacking there. So, what did they do to take away your two big scorers, Levick and Lee? Possess the ball. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They possessed That'll the ball well. Yeah, they possessed the ball pretty well. And and uh, you know we didn't get much transition today. You know they for whatever reason were stopping our transition and uh, a lot of it comes down to making saves and ground balls. And you know we didn't you know get a lot of those today. So we didn't come up with uh, too much transition. So that that helps them. Uh, other than that, I mean. You know, I, I couldn't really pinpoint it. Um, uh, their goalie made some good saves yeah. as well. And, uh, you know, we just didn't get as many shots as we'd like. Yeah, speaking of goalie play, as, as well as Jones played, and he was phenomenal. I thought your goalie, Nesbitt, also played really well. And again, today, he played pretty well for the entire tournament. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, he didn't have a bad day, that's for sure. I mean, I, I uh, you know, certainly don't blame anybody. It's a, it's a complete team loss. You know, he, he came out, he, he played well, he cleared the ball well. Um, you know, I thought their goalie made some big stops, and, and uh, we knew he was capable. Um, we just need to find a way to get some more shot opportunities and, and get the ball off the ground and down at our end. Obviously tough because it's the first loss of the season, but how yeah. much do you think the experience of playing two one-goal games here, two really difficult games, how much do you think that's going to help you as you move forward and what you guys are trying to do and going after a national championship? You know, um, one thing that I'm taking from this is, is you know, certainly that we need to stay hungry. Uh, doesn't matter who you play. I think um, and one of the toughest things is, is coming off a huge emotional win yeah. uh, yesterday and coming out here yeah. and trying to get ready for a, a quality team. Um, and, and them losing kind of handily to Denison yesterday probably didn't help our psyche today. But, um, you know, that, it just tells our guys we're, we're not unbeatable and uh, that we need to come ready to go every single time out. Well, Coach, we were happy to have you guys again here at the Mustang Classic this year, and you gave us two really thrilling games that I know a lot of people enjoyed, so we really appreciate that, and we appreciate yeah. taking the time for us here. Yeah, thanks, Glenn. Appreciate he it He is much. RIT Coach Jake Kuhn. After a tough one today, falling 10-9 to Dickinson, I'm Glenn Clark. This is GoMustangSports.com.